and they have very limited options against it. It will be the TA regardless. The TA, yeah, it is like coming out. So. It is OG versus Evil Geniuses. Has to watch out for the Fissure blocks though. His bottom, he does get blocked, and the Eidolons actually trap him. Oh, he's in trouble there. Uh, he's going to have Death Pulse up in a second, but it's not soon enough. Oh, gee. He's setting up for first blood down there at the same time up top. No tail will fall. Uh, not quite quick enough for EG to get the first blood. A very sizable advantage now against the Invoker. 24 11 on some else. Yes. Top lane. No tail. It's going to get on, but he turns with the Sprout. Anna with the Gust on to two, but fly. Crit down the ground. Look towards the two of them. They'll magic missile up Anna. Look for the two mount boulders. Smash. They find the angle. They do lose fly, but Crit will be able to bring down No Tail in return. Rolling forward. They're chasing down Anna. Archie's, he can't quite get to him, though. As Anna is able to get his way through the trees and back under the cover of the tier one tower. Jarek's the smoke's going to get dispelled. Samal is aware of what's going on. We'll see if EG is successful with the movement on top. They do find Anna. Fly leads him with a magic missile. Roll four from Crit straight away with the control. Has the silence into the boulder smash. Punching him down Anna with the gust. Trying to get away. But the final right click from Fly comes through. They get the kill. They may lose some of their lives in return. There is no tail. Arteezy's He's surrounded. RTZ actually, actually managed to move across from that top lane to help out. If they won't just get one, they'll get two. Both Anna and no tail going down. They do have earn charges on top, so he can look to get aggressive. Just look for the setup. Cold snap, EMP in the urn, as you say. The damage, the combo, perfectly done there by Thompson as he finishes off Flat. It's good spirit, right? This is, this is what we've come to expect from this man. Seb comes forward. Does take a magic missile to the face. TP from Jerex coming in. EG starts to back up. The Fisher onto two. Samel has the trap to slow down No Tail and Seb. They've got the wave of tear back in as well as the smash. No tail incredibly low. One right click will do it. And there it is. And they finish it yeah, off. Jarrett goes in for the walk in Echo Slam. Fly's falling low, but the Death Force heal's going to be coming over to him. So Fly, he's fine. They have managed to surround Samel, though. Samel gets left behind on the high ground. Samel gets taken down. Anna trying to chase down Fly as well. But Fly is pretty speedy. Topson gets in range, though, for the under shadows. He's chasing it down here with the ghost walk as Fly. Still trying to retrieve, but Topson should be able to finish this one off. Another on charge thrown out as Fly goes down. And bottom, they're taking a tier two as Topson wraps around. Misses. And he is going to miss that tornado. Might not matter for the kill, though. As Crit, surrounded, stuck in the sprout, does fall. As OG get that bottom tier two tower and the kill. But as we say, top lane, RTD, he pretty much got the tier two in return on his own. He's now looking towards Jarex. As Jarex comes in, looking to clear the way. But there's Fly with the setup. Swap back into the magic missile. Jarex taken out for 45 seconds with the Reaper side being slammed down upon him by S4. They're threatening high ground down here already with this alacrity draw. And flies back in, but he gets Gus. It's silent straight away. The damage, the cold snap, the right clicks. He's gone. Queued up, and now we'll be just going for the pipe on top of Vitality Booster. Jarrett's Jarrett's trying to pick up some farms. Does have Topson there? Goes for the tornado onto two EMPs down as well. Jarrett's trying to move into position to drop the cover. Gets get the goes now. Does he get the Fisher up? S4 still alive for now. He'll pop the Ghost route. Fly left behind. Seven Topson looking for S4. They find the vision for the cold snap. Spirit vessel down onto S4 again as Topson grabs the double kill. But OG as well do lose two as Samael in the river did find no tail to the side of it. They've only got, they've got three stones now on Curtin. He's committing forward. He's going straight forward. He finds the two of them. The sign is the sign. On to both of them. The magnetized down as well as immediately they lose no tail. Arteezy there with the wraparound. Thompson turns. Wait for the tornado to hold them back. And with the ghost walk, Thompson will get out. So will Anna for now. Fly with the swap back onto Jarek's S4. Moving into position. Doesn't have the Reaper Simon. In fact, flies too deep. Thompson turns back in. Takes down the Venge. Nice. can still doing very well from the second highest in the net worth and ahead of Samael. Samael of course on that TA oh, who was able to, to have that advantage in the mid lane matchup but as we've seen from the fights Topson as the Invoker has just been able to offer that a little bit more. No Tail's prepared to go for a dive already in the base here. Flight just go for the swap getting Seb up onto the high ground but Flight he's actually just going to get right click down here by the Eidolon army. As Seb claims the kill. Anna looks for the ghost on to crit, but crit did get the roll off. It didn't manage to put the stone down though because of the silence. Goes for the kickback. Anna with the double damage wants to fight. Echo. In with the echo. Has the control. On to Arteezy as Arteezy gets taken out of that fight as soon as he turned up. He just got the blink dagger as well. So it was completely unexpected. EG had no idea that was coming. And now they're pushing up to the high ground. OG 21 minutes in, taking the tier 3 tower. Only two alive at the moment on EG. S4, silence. They're moving. Jarex jumps forward. Has the control. S4's gone. Full pretty much set of racks down bottom. We'll see if these islands can finish up the range racks. And they certainly can. Blip comes out. He actually started attacking the tower. But oh, mid lane, Samaya. On top of Anna, Anna turns again. The Gust TP is going to work out once again. It's not this time. RTZ's in with the damage. They can do it pretty fast themselves, as you said, with some mail. They've got the TA, they've got the Venge. Can he look for the big plays here? He's smoked up. Oh, he is, and he's got the slam available. He's got his eyes on the pit. Can he uh -oh. time it perfectly? 
The Tornado coming in for the side, just managed Catch to catch two. him, it's pretty low, they're moving into the pit, there's the black hole, coming out under the tree, that they've lost the bench, the Roshan's still being focused by RTZ, Jarek RTZ still alive with the Shadow Blade set, finally gets taken down by Samel, but Samel's held in place by the Ice Wall, Jarek's into the pit, there's be the buyback from Fly, Samel goes down, tops it able to fight him with a cold snap, Jarek's will tick down to the back of the touch, Roshan still alive for now, the silence from Crit, out onto Thompson, RTZ, double ganger still alive, still alive. gets on top of the Invoker, Thompson falls, back to the oh pit, Trying to find him, but the slow goes down to Roshan. They get the kill, but Crit gets the ages triple kill for Crit, and he's not done yet. Rolls forward, looks for Jared. Jared taking on as well. And OG, they're still fighting back. They'll find Crit. Spirit Vessel cold snap. He's down once. They'll look to set up for a second time. The ice walls down, and he gets the quick gust. Thompson goes back in, and once again, cold snaps out. He can't roll himself away. Crit will fall. That was insane. Thompson. Look at the wraparound onto S4 again. Go Shroud is there, Thompson quick with the Tornado, EMP combo, someone needs to come across and help S4, as S4 just getting solo killed here by Thompson. Look, didn't go for Lotus Orb, didn't go look for Lotus Look at the stop, straight in, look at the slow, look at the stun, straight in, top of Anna, he's gonna get forced to the sidestep. Can he keep this man alive though, he doesn't have the black hole back up, you have an Anna with a big gust sending him back, Tornado, Thompson, he's in with the back of the beat here, Tiffany Glass, can he go, Thompson with the save, gets both of them! Oh. Thompson in Doing it big time on the main stage at the Fisher for Jax. It sets up for another. The cold snap, Spirit Vessel, no tell. He comes in to join the party. This man on his invoker in every situation finding these clutch plays. Anna also with the talent, going for that 550 Gus knockback, it pushed them so far away. Jax, he's just straight in again. There's the combo, Spirit Vessel, cold snap, Crid just getting ticked down. As a second set of racks, tier three is being a threat now. What can RTZ do as he turns up to this fight? It's been a hard each and every time they get a swap back onto Anna this time. Bang! Anna's gone for 80. Perfect way to start the fight, but there's the black hole. The sun strike as well. Flight gets taken down. Jarek's jumping in with the control onto S4. As the boulder smash from Crit comes out, magnetized as well, causing issues for No Tail. No Tail's taken out. The buyback straight away on S4's Crit, looking to chase for more. Gets in top and top of Seb. Seb goes with the TP out. The fish from Jarek's will allow Seb the space to escape by one outside of the base. Yep, they see the top lanes pushing. Samel, in. he's going to even get jumped in this position straight away. Jarek's with the combo. Samel's gone without buyback. OG. Piping and crimsoning up. S4 looking towards No Tail. Jarex priming himself on the side, ready to bling back in. In fact, they just got the damage onto S4. S4 gets one back. Jarex jumps in, looks for the Fisher, gets silent. I see for the black oh. hole. Seb, the, the, the Reaper side cancels the black hole. But the combo from Thompson straight on top of RTZ takes him out. RTZ dead for 80 seconds. S4, Crit and Fly getting pushed back to the base. They find the uh, uh, Spirit, they're gonna find S4, they're gonna find Fly as well. GG is cold. Damn. Game one in a series where I think a lot of people would have expected to see something quite fantastic from EG. OG, they absolutely crushed you. 32 minutes in, 18k net worth. Wow. All right. Well, OG definitely coming in very prepared for this draft, kind of knowing exactly how they want it to pan out. As we see Thompson, you know, he catches back up in that mid lane, as expected. Anna still trying to see it, but it's low crit. He's just going to go straight in for the charger, and Anna, has he got a little too gritty? He has. That's going to be first blood for S4. Crit will die, but he'll happily give his life there to set up for S4 to find that first kill. Crit charges forward, the and missile connects, a bash. Making these movements, Thompson tries to turn, he just has the TP in from no tail, but the rocket barrage for Samael, bringing Thompson low, it is enough to find the kill, but Samael, can he get out of it? The curse still ticking him down, but he'll stay alive for now, Crit. Can he also escape? He's got the movement speed. Can No Tail actually get he back to the triple if he can? No Tail will be able to get the kill. As top lane, they've got three heroes now. OG being brought in. No Tail looking to lead him with the curse. They roll forward That's with us. the shards. Starts easy turns. Quick us to knock them back as Fly comes in with a TP. Jarrett trying to TP his way back to safety. He'll make it out. Arts easy won't. As Seb, No Tail get away with the dive. They'll look towards Fly as Fly himself has no dive left to escape. OG. Good advantage over anyone else in the game. Very significant at seven minutes. Stop, Jax. Seb, they're hunting for RTZ. He's in the trees, Jax. Has got eyes on him, Seb. It's going to head over. RTZ totally alone at the moment. He's punching back into Jarex, but with Seb here, they should have the damage. The Gust comes out to try and slow down the overpower, but there's the Earth Shock. They've got the control, and RTZ just abandoned on their top lane. Mid lane, EG, they're trying to fight, but Samael, Samael. he's going up, potentially going down as well. The Curse starting to take him down. He's got the stick charges, but again, the slow, the Rave pop down, so Samael cannot get out. 
a Drow Ranger and a Gyrocopter when you're under farmed versus a Lycan can be very Radiant's devastating for you. That Lycan just closes the gap on top of you. You have to have the backup from your teams at all occasions. It's mid. See? You start the fight here with the cooldown. Charge forward as well from Crit. They get on top of Thompson. Thompson will take, get taken down, but against Samael, he's trying to back away. He pops the stick charges with the glaze for no tell. He gets the kill. Jump forward for seven. He shocks Crit, slows him down. Crit goes for the charge across, but that's going to be Crit going down to a Zeb. Gets the extra kill here. More intelligent, no tell. 18 intelligence and nine minutes in. He's part of nine of their 10 kills on a silencer. Not something you see too often. He's the one reacting to the gang. Right, Sizer's got Kai's actually gonna die. Sim's just having to walk underneath the tower. No tell, does he get in? Oh, oh he didn't get doesn't it. get in range for that one. Well, to do something big for EG. And they're looking for S4. Oh, this is not the big play they needed. The rest runs coming from EG, oh, but S4. Not. Oh, this is S4, he's, he's just dead. Crit dives in, Fly's gonna come forward, but the global silence comes out! Fly can't cancel the Icarus Divers, he's back up to the high ground, Curse from No Tail comes out to the three, and Thompson teeping out of it, oh hang on, they'll take him into the snowball, they want to keep this fight going, they get on top the of the they'll take down the egg, they'll find the egg, that punch Crit up, Crit's gonna fall, they're oh, the dead. Well. a team wipe! Oh my lord, oh gee! 32 intelligence! 32 intelligence, 12 minutes in! Looking to put the pressure on with this push with all these books available. There they go. They're in. They're absolutely in. Snowball forward from Jax. Looking to lead in. They've got the global silence OG as well. EG are able to step forward. Can they really start something off? S4 already getting bursted down to half by the Spark Raid. As the army of these Necro books are pushing onto the T3 Tower. Fly oh, loses guys. his life there to Thompson. And Seth Johnson takes apart S4. OG at 18 minutes in, they're taking the tier 3 tower. They're onto the barracks against this drow lineup of EG. The fire spirit killed the book and he just dies. It works out up top at the end of the day where they got the melee right, so it may work out again in here mid as tier 3 tower is going to go down. Thompson finds it, moves in towards fly as EG just getting forced back away from their barracks here. OG, they're on top of the rack, they'll charge forward, they'll look for the cooldown, can they get the fight going? EG, but oh, Seth's on top of Samel, Seth will go down, Samel's full, but OG's pretty low. Yeah, they've yeah. lost Thompson, they've got the summary out onto a second, and it falls. They'll snowball forward onto his full, but OG, they're going to left alive, Thompson's going straight for the TB on the charge, Crick gets the kill, no doubt that is EG hold! And they had to pull it out there, EG. They absolutely did. Ana's pushing bottom with his books, or with two, one of the books, at least. Right. They've got the vision on the high ground and the charge for Global Silence comes out, trying to stop EG from getting on top of Seb. Seb, past the overpower, turns towards Crip, but Samel's on top of him. They get stunned up with the homing missile. Samel with the BKB and the chase down finds the kill onto Seb. Seb's down. To be careful, the tops and steps his tempers double. The bottom lane is indeed getting heavily pressured. Jarax found out by Arteezy as they kill off two evil geniuses. Which was expected sort of at that sweet point when it was even. That was when OG were making that play with the push mid and then it all sort of crumbled. Seb. The lane pops the BKB in the enrage, trying to bring down crit. Does find the bash, but the damage. It. It's too much. He gets tied up, gets taken down. Crit's able to walk it off. And now they've got their eyes on no tail crit. Coming in with the charge, they're diving deep underneath the tier 2 tower. Snowball from Jarex does hold back Arteezy as Arteezy gets taken out. No tail still alive there. Maybe EG stove a little too far this time as he's getting surrounded. Crit trying to find No tail, but he can't quite do it. No tail survives. EG's just lost two. The supernova comes out on the high ground. Jarex has the snowball, keeping himself safe from the stun of the supernova. Blink out as well. Jarex able to make the escape. S4 falls forward, trying to finish off Jarex, but he's inside the bubble. S4 is inside the bubble as well. The charge is down, but S4, he's now in deep. He's getting bursted pretty low, but he has the heal off fly Sumra. And is being charged. We'll see if anything can be set up with this buyback. Samel is still incredibly low. He has got the Aegis. Baiting them up to the high ground. That pop the Aegis, but Crip ready to join. Straight in on top of the light. Can, can he finish Anna off? Seb, he's trying his best to go at it here. They do find the egg. Take down the supernova. But the pure damage for these impetus is, is it enough? He's been silenced as well. So limiting the right clicks, but they still find the kill on Seb. Seb down for 50. Thompson with the double dive on. First one looks to Crit. Buyback from Fly. Crit getting surrounded now by OG members. And in comes Fly again with that buyback, but the stun from the Snowball. Jax having to catch the Icarus dive. They have managed to find a double killer for Thompson. Thompson now going for the TP out. He makes it away. S4 can't quite get the damage for in time. Arteezy does have vision on Jax from the high ground in the river with the gust. Again, they'll find another. And also be, be able to address that split push that's been coming out. 
Here we go, crit. Look how fast he can come Straight away on top of them. Thompson does get the E-Blade out. The purple silence as well from No Tail. Trying to stop this attempt onto Thompson's life. Thompson using the Tempest double edge to an E-Blade charge out into him, but it's not going to save him. Thompson gets taken down. Out of control. Gets pulled up as well. He's got no vibe. No, 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 Neither of them do. 80 seconds without the Lycan or the Art board and an EG. They're ready to look for more. Jax into the snowball with the homing missiles out. Crit charges in. Seb does jump forward. Look for the command onto Smell. Smell gets forced to the side. Another bash comes out from Seb. Seb can't quite finish off the kill though. They're cutting Seb up. Seb's going to go down. This full head on OG. Seb buys back. But Jax, Anna, Thompson, they cannot buy back into the game. Crit straight in on top of Motel. Motel buys back. They do not have a buyback available on Seb. As OG are able to get three back in to try and form some sort of a defense, but EG take them instead of Rax. And they're getting healed up by Fly, they're looking to keep going. Get more kills. They get the gust out, onto Jax, jump forward, throws him out with the rocket barrage, finds Jax, Jax they're going to end it. for 80. They're straight down the middle lane. Can they do this here, EG? They've got 25 seconds before Anna's back in the game. They're onto the tier four towers. No Tail trying to lead forward with the glaze to push the back, but Crit charges in, keeping No Tail head, head back away from the team. EG, they're onto a second info set, trying to come in onto the fly, but there's the strike. Chick Crit with the bash is the control. He does get back to return, and Seth gets taken down. The agent exposed. EG looking to close the game up. The GG is cool. EG what a in this series to a game three after what has to be one of the roughest openings, the roughest first 15 minutes of the game that we've seen EG have, but they came back, they kept their cool. They looked like that one fight. Hero I was expecting at all actually out of EG, oh, but it will be out. an aggressive lane dominator from Samail. Poor the lane goes, because you're still like a main spectre, it's not the strongest, as they make an aggressive move forward. You have the Nightmare to set up, bringing Seb in, can they get the body blocks off onto Crit, Crit running himself away from Seb, Seb finds the hoof stomp though, and that'll be first blood for Seb. And as we see the S4 and some out the top two net worth at the moment in the game. It's out, looking for a bit of a setup on to fly. They'll pop the Thunder Ghost Wrap for this one, as well as the Horn, ready with the chase down after the first dive was used to find fly. Even looking to move straight again down onto the bottom. Samel more than ready to dive behind this tower for this one. Charges straight in with the avalanche. Toss to follow the pop. The stampede. Can they get stops and out of here? They cannot. The Samel's in behind the tower with a haste room. Gets himself another kill onto Thompson. Bottom lane fly. Getting chased once again down on this bottom. That's going to be Fly's fifth death on the Phoenix. So quickly. Samel. There he is with the bleak. Jumps in. The one shot. Oh boy. Samel. What's that now? Let's see what 5 0 five, one. Zero, 1. yep. All six kills involved. And yes, top, four. that's four. He just picks up Thompson on his own. Can't quite have the vision at the moment. Thompson is going to come out. Toss back, it seems. There's the jump. Smell going in with the combo. Jarrett's is going to come in with the tether, but he can't do anything to save him. Fly post the supernova to make that something. He's good. Get on TZ. The dagger will get it. So they get the trade kill there. One for one, losing a core for a core. The stampede as well from Seb. They'll be able to get themselves apart, but Samail in straight away. No mercy. And finishes off the kill. Samail. And he's not quite done yet. He's ready to run back in with the haste. They've got vision on Jarex. Jarex gets popped as well. Samail. You can tell he's not done. He's seeing if he can find more. Seb tries to go with the who's stop. Magic gets up for Crip. Will stop the top. Samail jumps in. Avalon. Top. Three very. He gets at it. Can he get Seb as well? They've got the impetus from S4 coming on to Seb. Seb trying to hide in the trees, but Samail and S4, they're hunting. They're finding Samail with the triple kill. It's pretty slow. Eh? Yep. And then we go to the top. He's in. He's in. He's still alive for now, Anna getting tossed up, tossed back, Samel, he's going to stand up for Seb, back in with a who's up, Samel managed to pick up an ultra kill before he went down. They can't leave this rush, it's at half health, and Samel, Thompson's is dead, he just finds the two Seb's in with the two man who's up, they've got the supernova at the sideline as well here, can they take it down in time, no, OG's got to back away from the supernova, Seb trying to TP out, will be able to escape, but OG lose two, Samel again, double kill, 16, 1 and 2, and Chris, he's going for more, up. he's able to find out, Samel comes in for the triple kill. Samel, seeing Seb on the front. 
So Mel wants to try and find the squishy on the back, and he's straight in with the combo. Looks towards No Tail. No Tail's going to get taken down by the Impetus. They'll pop down the Nimbus. Thompson trying to fight back for the side. He's able to zap down S4. They get the kill onto the Enchantress. Crit now being looked towards as well with the Hawk from Mana chasing down this Ventress rear. They're finding another Samel very low at the moment. That pipe keeping him alive, but Seb in with the finisher, able to take the Aegis out of his hand. Seb getting the kill once. Arteezy with the BKB looking towards Seb. Samel with that second life jumps back in on top of Seb. Gets revenge. He's up there on the high ground. They'll see the, see the courier as well passing across. Can OG fight this though? Arts easy with the high ground, pops the BKB. Sam is going to be popped out, giving a bit of damage reduction for the side of OG, but No Tail, is it really enough to keep him alive? Doesn't look like it. His fly comes out with the sun, they lose No Tail, they jump forward and find Seb as well. But there's not going to be much of it left as EG, they take the full set middle and they take the full set top. Chris looking for a play too, looking for the swap. Swap. Anna. Manta tried to dodge it off, does manage to back off. Arts easy as he gets tossed in by Samoyle oh. there. Oh! Thunder Girls Raph's going to give him the vision. He knows that they're coming, but maybe it's a bit too late. He's got a homing missile upon him. Stamp is going to be used. They look for the jump, but they're able to burst down. Fly, Fly's gone out of the fight. Seb, look at what's S4. S4 pops the BKB. OG now backing up. Seb on the front lines, tanking it all, but the damage from Samael will be enough. Big Crit comes in with a tree throw as Samael gets himself the double kill. They feel like they can maybe try and take this fight, but Samael is in with the combo. The damage is too much oh, damage. He's going to crit it down. They've lost Jarex out to try to run himself away, but the burn's too much. Seb jumps in, the buyback, the hawk from Anna Heezy comes into play, can he turn this one around? Seb, falling low, take it down to the miss on the get off Heezy, can they get anything more? They're able to oh, find Tani, they're able to find Fly, the buyback, hawk from Anna, absolutely doing it, the buyback's there from OG. Thankful for EG for can them they that they have those, two. they can't, the tier twos are still up. Samel's leading in, they do see Thompson here, they Thompson see Nimbus straight out, the Horde as well, everything being popped, they want to fight this, Crit tries to go for the swap, but Crit gets taken down straight away, they'll go for the Supernova on the high ground, S4 and Samel looking towards Thompson, have they got the damage to bring him down, the Axe Stampede coming through, not enough to save Thompson, Thompson's dead, buys back. Immediately back in the fight, Anna. Arteezy's is being chased by Anna. He's he can't run away. Arteezy can't get himself out of this, he's dead for 100 seconds. Anna's S4, still... TP's back to base. See him in the middle lane. OG, ready to pass. Stop. Seb gets the stun, the double force, though, creating the space for S4 to get back. They try for an avalanche, doesn't connect. Nimbus get thrown down on top of Arteezy. Arteezy the side trying to take the Nimbus. Thunder goes Raph, used by Thompson. They'll pop the horn. Arteezy just have to pop the BKB and run away. Crit gets surrounded. Crit gets taken down. They'll go for the supernova. OG looking towards the side. Can they take it down? It's out. They can. They get the supernova. Samel going over the BKB. Looking towards Seb. Breaks down Seb Banana. Still alive. Cuts down Samel. Double kill for Anna. S4 trying to run himself away for Jax. His balls for Jax. With the right clicks, gets the kill. Four dead on EG. Samel has to buy back. The rest of them do have buybacks available as well. The OG, they'll lose two, but they've got the big boys still alive. Anna and Thompson pushing on the tree throw. Not enough to kill off Jarex. These two are still just full health and full mana. Thompson is pretty much full. There's another buyback from Crit, and there's another buyback from Seb. Ready to go in the mid lane. Samel getting stunned up by the Nimbus. Anna moving in. Samel getting forced back. They've got to keep alive. Arteez, he dies! Buys back as well. Four buybacks, including Samel. It's a full team buyback here from EG. Set four. Jumped on. Seb with the double edge. Without buyback, they're moving straight towards the top lane. OG ready to hunt for those megas. There's the swap, they get the swap on and they get the silver edge. Can they burst him in time? No, the axe stampede, the damage reduction, keeping out of safe. The sunray potential damage doing a fair bit. And they're trying to walk his way out of the base. They've got the toss, they kill him. We get on it. Down for two minutes. Jarek's still alive with about two HP at the moment, able to tether himself up to the high ground. He'll live. They have to commit for it. This rush is so important. Three, two, they're going to have it. They've got the Aegis on Arteezy. And it looks like OG don't want to fight straight away into it. They're popping the axe stampede. Now they look to jump. Jump forward. Except, does get punched straight away. Post the refresh. He gets the second stampede off. They've got the control on Arteezy. Arteezy taken now once. They get the Aegis out of the supernova. Successful though from Fly. Stunning up Anna. But do they have the damage to actually kill Samael? Looking at what's out of it. Anna pops the man. So they do to Samael. Samael, take it down. Down for two minutes. Arteezy trying to back off, there's going to be a buyback for Jarex. They got the Nimbus out onto Fly Fly, jumped on by Sam, but who stops? Takes him out, two dead on EG. There's only S4, Arteezy and Crit are left standing. And they're coming in, Jarex as well, coming he, forward. He's got a rapier, but it's almost certainly They're going for the pace. OG looking to close things up, they're onto the agent, they're beating it down at a pace that EG can't compare to, and GG is called. Cool. OG!
What? Against Evil Genius is knocking EG down to the lower bracket. OG will move one step closer to the Aegis. Unbelievable comebacks we have between these two teams in two back-to-back -back games. OG with the fortitude to stick through it after dealing with such a oh. as tiny. Oh. oh, the look there from Nota. I mean, you could feel it this game. There was the drama, there was the passion, and OG against any other team, I don't know if they would have played as well as they did here. They did seem you to have a fire lit under them. You could absolutely feel it from OG. We saw an incredible turnaround from EG in game two, but that comeback and turnaround from OG in game three has to be by far the biggest that we've seen here at this TI.